Konnichiwa. This is the Shogun Steam, back from the fungus, back from the pandemical. And this is an unboxing of the new game, River of Gold, set in the Legends of Five Rings universe, which is a uh, fictional, you know, uh, Sengoku Japan era card game. But this is uh, a game that's set in that universe. It's not real Japan, it's fictional. Again, that card game is very popular. This is a game where um, you're going to go build things. You're going to go up and down the, the river. And it's supposed to take place in that universe of the Legend of Five Rings. So again, it has a uh, fictional Japanese theme. Not necessarily historical fiction like the great show Shogun. But more of a, you know, almost like a fantasy theme. But in, in Japan as opposed to a, a European theme. So right away you're going to see this board which unlike, you know, most boards goes uh, up and down, goes north and south as opposed to, you know, putting it uh, the other way. So it's an interesting board. It is gorgeous. Look at this art. It is just an absolutely gorgeous board. And you're going to be trying to go work your way up these uh, prestige. You're going to be going up the, the river. You're going to be building things. So there's a lot of things going on. Supposedly it plays fairly quickly. It's from Office dog it's uh again we picked it up on amazon it's running uh about 50 bucks and uh you know beautiful the board is absolutely beautiful look at this really one of the nicer boards i've seen in a while so we have an instruction book and uh i was watching uh some videos how to do it so there are some videos you can watch but you do have the instruction book here with the map features and the game set up. It didn't seem like it was that complicated of a game. Basically, you're either going to be going uh, up the river and, you know, where you land on the river, you're going to be getting, you know, uh, bonuses from, you know, which buildings touch. You're either going to be building things or there are some, uh, you know, customer cards that you have where you can fulfill things. Okay, so we got some instructions here. Telling us about all the different symbols. So again, we got our different actions here. We got build a building, sail a ship, deliver to customers. Okay. And then we got the emperor's visit. Visit. And then there is a little clan patrons, patrons mini expansion. Okay. Again, some of the symbology. Here's the symbols, the icons here. So again, it's supposed to be like a, you know, again, a fictional Japan setting. So here we got a little background, again, on the five rings. There we go. And again, you can play the, the card game. All right, so we can play as different clans in the game. Let's take a look at the different clans we got. We got the cranes. You got kind of like a fictional Himeji castle. You got the Mantis. Kote City. You got the Scorpion Clan. Look at that. It looks like uh, Osaka Castle, where Hideyoshi was. You got the Crab Clan. Look at that. Nice art. Okay, what do we got here? Well, River of Gold, we gotta have some gold, so we got some gold coins, a lot of things to punch. More things to punch. These are the buildings. So again, there's gonna be things that you get for your boat being adjacent to a building, and then you're gonna get things if you were the one who built the building. Some more buildings, some more gold. This is an interesting insert. So we got our different colors. So again, let's uh, take a look here for my color blindness. Yeah, I can tell those apart. Okay. So those look like some pretty good colors here. Easy for me to tell apart. This is darker, this is, not sure what color it is, but I can tell it apart from this. And we got red and we got white. Okay, good. We got our cards, which are going to be, again, our customer cards. 
And we got dice. I'm over here now. Do you want the picture? The famous face? All right. Nice insert. So really nice components here. You know, they, you know, you're getting a nice looking game here for the, for the price, it seems. Sometimes, uh, what was that game? The Catherine the Great game we bought a, a while back. It was also almost like $50, and it came with like a couple crappy cards, a crappy board, and a couple of uh, meeples, and they were charging you 50 bucks. So there definitely are some very nice components here uh, for the, the, the price. Now again, the uh, playtime is supposed to be quick. So the rule book, you know, again, the rule book, we'll take a, a full rule book. But again, I was watching, you know, before we play and some of the other videos, and it seems like the, the rules are, are pretty easy. And again, just an absolutely gorgeous board. So this is a look at River of Gold. Looking forward to, to playing, looking forward to getting back to the, to the game store. Now that, uh, you know, again, I'm over the, the pandemical. And let's get this to the table. We'll hopefully get uh, some two-player games with Little Shogunstein. Hopefully get this to, to game night. This is the Shogunstein. This is a look at River of Gold out.